here's a neat little trick that will allow you to see. We have the helmet cam. Camera's right down in the helmet, and you can see the bead perfectly. And this is what we want to talk about right now. We're going to do the three main types of welds. The lap weld we're doing right here. We'll do the plug weld and the butt weld. What I want you to look at is see how I have my hand underneath the torch. It's very stable. You can see the torch is always the same distance away from the work, allowing about 3 sixteenths of wire to be burnt right here. And all I'm doing now is I'm striking arc and pushing the bead. There it is, a very nice, consistent weld. Let's talk about pushing the bead and welding in one direction right here. Now you can see it, what, just a little push right there on the wire pushing it. Now what I want you to do is just take your time and listen to the audio of this. And that ought to give you a good idea of exactly what you're looking for in that bead right there. Now we're going to do the plug well. And this will be the weld that you're going to replace spot welds with. And the first thing I want you to notice is watch me start outside of the circle. It starts a little cold, then I bring it in. You can just see it licking the edges of it and finish up in the middle. Always starting outside, allowing the wire to come up to temperature, then drop it right down in, bring it around, and close it right in the middle. This is a super structural weld. What this will do when you warm it up outside and bring it down in, is it will allow the base metal to come up to temperature and flow onto the top metal. That's what it takes to get a good structural weld right there. Now we're going to come down to the butt weld. I've already tacked the ends together and the two plates are just touching each other. The difference here is I have the torch a little further away from the work and I'm very lightly pushing that bead. And normally what you do to get a good butt weld on the car, with any of these welds actually, is it'll be three to four beads, and then I'll cool down with compressed air. So watch, it would be one, two, three. Now break out the air and cool it down, then start again. That way, you keep the metal from warping up too much on you. The other thing to notice is, I only weld in one direction. Now you can see the heat zone coming out of this, and that we would control it at right about this point right here before we cool down. It wouldn't come all the way out on the metal. But this is an exercise, again, for what? I want you to watch the wire, I want you to watch the bead, and I want you to listen to it. And this is all about the control. You're controlling the welder. It's not controlling you. Keep practicing. You're going to get it.